Largest documented adult ibuprofen overdose. A near fatal overdose of ibuprofen in a young adult. Yo, what's up? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Justin LaFace, Michael Lee, Sam Thomas, Victoria Reamer, Valentina Del Signor, and Philip Wisley, where they have a case report on an ibuprofen overdose. And here's the full report details. Alright, so here we got an ibuprofen report. Kinda goofy as a trip report, but not really considering how common it is. Today we're covering possibly the largest dose of ibuprofen ever documented. Unlike acetaminophen though, this isn't deadly, at least if treated right. There doesn't seem to be any direct psychoactive effects, but at the same time, it is more of an objective experience. This overdose gives us a good look at how this may play out and some effects that come with it. It's pretty insightful, and I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Introduction Ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication commonly used in the United States. It is rarely implicated in acute complications. We have a case of a 22-year-old female presenting after massive intentional ibuprofen ingestion that resulted in severe life-threatening toxicity. Case Presentation A 22-year-old female presented after being found unresponsive with an empty bottle of ibuprofen. On presentation, GSC was signed and she exhibited no response to naloxone. Laboratory results were significant for metabolic acidosis with an anion gap of 20, RDO pH of 7.3, Creatinine 0.71, potassium 2.9, lactate 4.5, and negative for the presence of acetaminophen, salicylate, alcohol, and illicit drugs. The patient was admitted to telemetry for supportive care. Lactate trended down to 1.6. Within 24 hours, the patient developed a depressed level of consciousness requiring endotracheal intubation. Repeat laboratory analysis revealed a worsening metabolic acidosis with an RDO pH of less than 6.94, oliguric renal failure, creatinine a 2.70, potassium a 7.1, elevated osmolar gap, and lactate of 13.7. The patient was treated with bicarbonate and initiated an intermittent hemodialysis due to severe electrolyte derangements, which was transitioned to continuous renal replacement therapy. Metabolics began to improve on renal replacement therapy. Fomepazole and stress dose steroids were initiated empirically while awaiting volatile panel. Renal function, mental status, and shock resolved, and the patient was extubated. She made it to ingestion of approximately 650 tablets of 200 mg ibuprofen, or approximately 2,300 mg per kilogram ideal body weight. Days later, her volatile panel returned to negative for any toxic alcohols. Discussion this case highlights the ability of a massive ibuprofen ingestion to cause a rare and near-fatal toxidrome characterized by acute renal failure, CNS depression, and vasodilatory shock. Ibuprofen is amongst the most frequently implicated medications in overdose. Despite ibuprofen's high frequency of overingestion, there are few reports describing severe toxicity. Of the few fatal ibuprofen overdoses reported, nearly all were associated with co-ingestions making the impact of ibuprofen difficult to establish. The lethal dose of ibuprofen in adults is unknown. From literature review, our case describes the largest ingestion of ibuprofen, both in absolute terms and per body weight. Despite such a large ingestion, with aggressive supportive care, our patient was able to make a full recovery. This informs providers that large ibuprofen ingestions may result in fatal toxicity, but with quick recognition and care may be reversible. This is a case of severe ibuprofen overdose. Of the cases reviewed, this one describes the largest amount per body weight of ibuprofen overdose and demonstrates that with aggressive supportive care, even a massive ibuprofen ingestion can be survivable.